I actually really like it. This is what's funny is like, I'm going to kind of persuade you or encourage you to go to the opposite side of the spectrum from being an accelerator to maybe a driver. But I do want to say like what you have here, it's not bad. Like it's good. There's a lot of things that I'm going to point out in reference to your long toss, because that's going to give me a pretty good visual as far as like what your body is telling me that it wants to do to produce as much power output as possible. That's a pretty good indicator. Anytime that you see long toss, say, uh, you know, not yours isn't drastically higher, but when there's a disconnect, you just look at that, right. And you kind of just, um, make it easier on yourself. So if you're 90 out of the hand and you're long toss 90 out of the hand, 300 feet, and then 84, you're, you know, limited six miles an hour. So you kind of just compare and contrast and be like, all right, why is that? And blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. So like I said, I like your initial move. Um, I like, your arm action, your hand path. And I think that's going to influence your acceleration rate, but on the subject of your arm action mechanics and your accelerator mechanics here on the mound, look, I just want you to notice this. I don't know if you've ever noticed this before, but, um, let's get you here at full handbrake. And this video is going to be slow-mo, whereas the other one's not so full handbrake and then full handbrake. All right. So like I said, I just like using long toss as a pretty good indicator of what your body is, is telling me in terms of how it's trying to produce as much power output as possible. Usually with younger guys, you see in, in pull downs and long toss throws, they sync up guys sync up so much better because there's so much more freedom and it's a flat ground and it's not a mound where you're your, your acceleration rate or your, 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 the amount of gravity that's influencing your acceleration rate is, is different. You're, you're producing your own acceleration on, on, on a long toss throw. And so first and foremost, I see a hand path arm action. I think in your long toss throw, it is what it is because your body or your, your, your brain knows that you have more time because of the way that you're loading your drive leg, you're loading your drive leg in your long toss throw with tilt on the subject of tilt. I saw in the uh, PDF that it says tilt less rotate more, which that's kind of another piece to what I see as a, a just an energy system. Um, how people generate energy based on, you know, the arm slot. We can get into that a little bit later. I don't think it's as, as, as important as this piece though. So, Again, long toss throw, you are a little bit more in elbow extension than you are in your mound throw here. You're shorter here um, because you have to be, to be on time when your front foot anchors down, okay? Whereas long toss, again, your trunk is helping aid in your loading of your drive leg. And you even said it with early drive leg extension. That's another thing I see all the time with guys that have a pretty good long toss power output number and then not so much on the mound. You see them load up their drive legs so much better and they actually load that up uh, better by using their trunk, using that tilt, using that counter rotation to store or st to load and store more energy in their drive leg. Now on that subject, like I said, I wanna comp you with, with Fairbanks and you're going to see Pete do just that. All right. Very similar arm action. I would put Pete in the group of, of being, you know, of a driver. He's a big dude, six, seven. Now, as he's descending, like not really that big of a leg kick or anything, his goal is like, how can I produce as much force into the ground? So now as he separates his hands here, you're going to see just that. So you have tilt of the trunk and you have essentially like if this video angle was a little bit more in front, you'd see that you have tilt and you have trunk like counter rotation. You're loading up your drive leg. You're loading up that hip. You can see the stability that he has within that drive leg. And now as he then snaps that drive leg, hips rotate anchors down. Now it's the same thing with what you said in the PDF tilt, less rotate more. Why? you're going to see the tilt is actually now going to abide into a lot of force into the lead leg by that amount of forward acceleration he's getting. And that's why I said arm slot dictates a lot of that, the way you kind of express power, express energy. If you're an over the top guy, you're going to be more directional. If you're a three quarter guy or low three quarter guy, you're going to be more rotational. So I never want to kind of 
coach guys or use terminology that is like that one size fits all. Like let's determine your most athletic throw, your most athletic arm slot, most repeatable arm slot. Then we go from there. So hopefully this visual here of Fairbanks, the way that he uses his trunk to aid in the ability to load the drive leg. And I know it's tough because, um, you know, like I said, your, your mechanics here on the mound with emphasis on your acceleration rate, it's not bad. I just think your body's telling me it, you know, it's painting me a different picture here on the long toss throw. And if your long toss throw is 300, that's 96 miles an hour. That's something to look at. It's always one of those things that you're not going to get the answer to what, or you're not going to get the answer to, to should I do this or not, unless you try it. Um, but you already are trying it in your long toss and your pull downs. It's just because we're flat ground and we're forward accelerating so much, right? Like we're crow hopping into our throws that your body automatically knows, well, we can't just kind of leave our drive leg. So we have to find a way to load our drive leg by, by using our trunk. Okay. Um, so like I said, I would encourage you to look into being more of a driver. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched. If you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love. God bless till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.